the haunting side of the Tesla bot. In 2030, 375 million jobs will be lost to artificial intelligence worldwide. According to the Office of National Statistics, 1.5 million people in England are already at risk of losing their job to automation in 2021. If you rewind for a second, with respect to the serious concern made by one of the most talented businessmen in the world, he says, mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. So despite Elon Musk himself aware and admitting the fact that artificial intelligence is the most dangerous thing in the world, why is he focusing on building this super robot called Tesla bot that is powered by AI in its every inch? Going back further, the launch of the iRobot movie in 2004 shocked us to the core about what would happen if these robots took over our everyday life like never before. It is true that it was a sci-fi movie, but if you look deeper, the Tesla bot does bring back some dangerous memories that we thought could only exist in movies. But before jumping to any conclusion, let's find out what Tesla bot is all about. Starting with the technical details, the features of this bot include a height of around five feet and eight inches and weighing around 56 kilograms. At the top of it, the entire face consists of a screen for useful information. The company does say it is for providing useful information, but as the latest smartphones with their front camera love to sneak peek a little every now and then on the human population without permission, we should remember that it could be way more than just providing information. In other words, the useful information can be compared with the Amazon's Alexa and the Jarvis bot that was expressed in the Iron Man movie. So it could be similar, but more advanced than the Alexa speaker like providing weather reports, playing your favorite videos, and providing sufficient research-based information that we try to find on Google related to our business. The rest of the features look like a human being that consists of two hands, two legs, and a slim body that most of us dream of having. Launched on August 19th, 2021 in California. Elon Musk declared that the bot is designed to adapt to any form of repetitive or boring task that people hate doing. Musk also said that the bot could actually run to the grocery store for you and could handle any number of tasks that involve manual labor. Codenamed Optimus, the bot is installed with the same chip which Tesla cars use in their self-driving feature. Musk also said that autopilot cameras will be installed in the bot's head and will be capable enough to carry 45 pounds, lift 150 pounds, and run at a speed of eight kilometers per hour. If we try to break down the statements made by Musk at the launch of the bot, you will be surprised to find that there are deep loopholes in his own statements. Beginning from the statement when he said that, the bot is designed to adapt to any form of repetitive or boring task that people hate doing. This might sound like a general statement, but if you look closer, most of our work in our life consists of repetitive tasks. And whether we hate doing it or not, we focus on our work because we have to pay our bills and everyday expenses. It should also be remembered that many people are already in a profession they hate being a part of. But they never give up because of their strong willpower and also the fight every day to earn a good amount of money. Going back to the Musk statement, here are some of the examples of the repetitive tasks Musk is targeting through its Tesla bot. Telemarketing. It is true telemarketing companies make hundreds of calls every day to make people buy their products. But if the Tesla bot could replace this repetitive task, then what about the employees who will lose their job when the machine takes over? To be more specific, we have already started receiving calls from automated voice commands that remind us to recharge our monthly plans of various softwares. VoiceOver, uh-oh. You must have seen a lot of advertisements for the latest voiceover application called Speech Halo. The ad clearly says it is powered by one of the AI voices that can easily imitate the voices of various types of individuals. You can select the voice of a male or female, 
and can also select whether it should be a child, teenager, adult, or an old person. The application even manages to break the boundaries by helping you select an individual of any accent you want. All you have to do is copy and paste your script in the application, and the AI voice will do the rest. Of course, the application is in the beginning stage of its development, which does sound a little like a robot. But soon, it will launch its updated version that is going to outstand one of the most talented individuals in the world who have entertained us with their natural voice for decades. Other soon-to-be-affected areas by the Tesla bot includes courier services, computer support specialists, market research analysts, retail salesperson, cashier, and much more. To give you a short glimpse of how cashiers in all the grocery stores can be replaced, you can check the first grocery store which has already been opened by Amazon without a cashier in Seattle. Although there are jobs like human resource manager, writers, public relations manager, and others which are still safe from the dangerous effects of AI. It should be remembered that Musk also said that the Tesla bot could adapt to any form of repetitive or boring task that people hate doing. What makes us more worried is the word adapt with respect to any form of task. Positive side, despite all the negative effects the Tesla bot could have on the human population, we must also look at the positive effects it can have. Faster growth. If the factories are completely going to be replaced with robots, then this could result in faster growth in the economy of the countries with the sudden rise in the factory output, as robots will be working 24-7, 365 days a year this could result in recovering from the COVID-like disasters at a much faster pace. More advanced human civilization. Despite having a smartphone with us all the time, we even today feel a bit lazy in researching or learning about a particular thing on the internet. The learning process about various issues or professions takes time. But with the help of TeslaBot, we could be able to adapt to the world at a much faster pace. For example, as Musk said that the face of the bot is built to provide us useful information, this massive screen covering the whole face of the bot will simply help us learn different languages, learn about coding, or make us learn how to cook by taking the help of the bot and cutting vegetables and maybe letting him cook himself if the company is planning to add that major update to it. The bot also has two hands, which increases the probability of this happening in the future. Extremely helpful for old age or disabled individuals. At the event, Musk clearly said that the bot will be able to buy groceries for their owners. This makes it understandable that the bot will also be helping their old age or disabled owners in grabbing or moving usual household stuff that they face difficulty in. Not to forget, the bot can also lift a weight of around 150 pounds, so we believe it could lift the entire bed if needed. Government Control If you check Musk's interview again, you will clearly agree with his own statement when he said, AI or superintelligence should be created very carefully. This statement now brings us to the conclusion that a heavy amount of government supervision should be imposed on such companies who are creating these super-advanced bots. The latest attack on Facebook, in which an ex-employee openly claimed in front of the U.S. government that Facebook knows how to protect children's privacy, but is intentionally not doing so because of its unimaginable profit. The company is also harming children's mental health and weakening democracy. So, to make sure AI-based products do not harm human civilization in any manner, a complete check on an everyday basis should be made by the government of every country to maintain that level of distance that ensures our privacy and helps us in advancing with time. It is true that the Tesla bot has both negative and positive sides to its launch, but depending too much on such AI-based products could also backfire. 
as Musk said, that the bot will have the same chip which is installed in their self-driving Tesla cars. It should be remembered that on April 18th, 2021, his self-driving Tesla car severely killed two men by crashing into a pole in Texas. Not to forget, Tesla's quarterly vehicle safety report openly says, while no car can prevent all accidents, we work every day to try and make them much less likely to occur. There was a time when we all had our own secured privacy where no one could interfere. But since the launch of smartphones and the massive rise of tech-based products trying to peek into our life, it seems we are already giving permission to the companies to infiltrate into our privacy without us even realizing it. And even if the Tesla bot or other AI-powered devices manages to take over our everyday tasks, does this mean we should just wait and watch them take over our lives right in front of us? Or should we do something about it? Be cool and subscribe to our channel, The Insight TV, for more cool videos in the future. Thank you for watching.